Sometimes I find these random Sailor Moon items that are only available in Asia, like Hong Kong or Taiwan, or they're only available in Australia, or only available in the UK, or they're only available in Ireland. So I end up collecting a bunch of these items from international markets and retailers uh, that I have purchased through proxies or secondhand, and I like to collate all of them into a big video. So today, I have that video for you. Today is my international market video where I will show you an unboxing and a review of all these different random items from across the world. <laughs> it's kind of crazy to think that Sailor Moon is such a worldwide phenomenon and each market has completely different products available to that specific market. So I'm going to share some with you today and tell you a little bit about how I was able to get these in hand. A lot of these items are kind of random and I haven't even opened them yet. So let's get started. First off, I have a toothbrush collaboration. <laughs> Yeah, this toothbrush came with this very cute gift bag, which of course I will be storing. The brand is called Apio, or Apio? Apio, I don't know. But this is one of those products that you could only find in the Asian market. So unfortunately it was not available here, but this is really cool. So I'm super excited to open this and actually look at this toothbrush. This is an electric toothbrush and you can find replaceable heads for it. I was able to get this through a proxy on, I wanna say Instagram is where I found somebody who was ordering these for people and sending them out to folks overseas. So here we have a beautiful logo of the classic 1990s Sailor Moon with the English logo. Even though there is, I wanna say that's Chinese underneath it. And then we have Sailor Moon up you down at the bottom. And here we have our limited edition Sailor Moon toothbrush. <laughs> it comes with a case and it comes with, I believe this is probably the accessories. Let's see what's in here. This is awesome. This is very similar to my Philips toothbrush. So not a big difference. Here we have a setup guide. So this tells you how to use your toothbrush, how to brush properly with an electric toothbrush because that is going to vary. There is a spare toothbrush head in here so you can replace it. And this is the charger. So luckily it is USB. I love that it's USB. It does have some little rubber feet on the bottom to keep it from slipping when you use it in your bathroom. And you stick the toothbrush up here on the top and it wirelessly charges the toothbrush. That's pretty cool. So it is proprietary. It looks like I won't be able to trade out the actual charger for the toothbrush. So when it dies, it dies. And here we have the toothbrush itself. Oh, it's so cute. All right, so the toothbrush head goes on there like so. I wonder if it's charged already. Oh yeah, that's charged. It's got a little light at the bottom. <laughs> that's so funny. Oh my gosh, this is cool. That's a soft brush head. I would replace it with something a little bit tougher. On the back, there is a really iridescent silhouette of Sailor Moon. And on the front, we do have a crescent moon with a little red crystal, very similar to her tiara. Ooh. Oh, different modes, I see, I see. Oh my God. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> okay, so now I have an electric Sailor Moon toothbrush. Who would have ever thought that would be a thing that I would own, but now I do. Uh, there's the case for it, that's cute. I wonder if this little case can come out, because it is plastic, so maybe it's like a travel case, but it's very tough to get out of there. Oh no, I pressed a button. Oh no, I have to open it again. Oh god. Uh, stop. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, there it goes. Okay, that was easy. Yeah, so here we have a travel case for your toothbrush. Ta-da. Like so. I am curious how... Oh, dude, I keep on pressing the button. I am curious how long the toothbrush lasts. Maybe I just need to set it to the side. Yeah, I wanna know how long the toothbrush lasts and I'm curious how long the battery, like the rechargeable battery would work in here and how long it allows you to use the brush head before it like pings you to replace it. Or if that's even a thing, cause like my Philips definitely does that. This is cute though. What a unique little item. <laughs> So random. Let's continue. <laughs> we have more super fun items 
that came from overseas. This is a very big box. It has gold foil on the front and it says Sailor Moon Crystal. Uh, this has been out on the market for quite some time. It is, <laughs> this is the Crystal Star. It is a gigantic charger and it is a Qi charger. So you can use it with your phone. It's huge. <laughs> oh my gosh, this thing is ridiculously huge. Uh, let's see how it charges. Looks like it's USB. It is micro USB, so it's not gonna be a very fast Qi charger because it's not an upgraded uh, USB-C. Oh wait, there is USB-C on it. <gasps> I wonder if I can use USB-C with it. Ooh, I would just have to use my own USB-C charger, which I think I have one. Okay, we're gonna demo this cell phone charger. This is a wireless charger, Qi compatible. Comes with micro USB, but it looks like it's USB-C compatible compatible as well. We're gonna find out if that's true. I don't know if it is. Oh, so satisfying. I love doing that. Now I do have a couple of phones next to me that I can use because I do review tech for a living. Let's see if this works. Oh, there it goes. It wasn't plugged in all the way. Oh, ooh, this is cool. Look at it light up. Look. Oh, that's so cool. I would definitely not use this in my bedroom, but look at it. It works. Oh my gosh, y'all, that is really cool. Now, wireless charging, 76% one hour, two minutes until full. Okay, so that right there tells me that is not quick charge. So it is not going at a specific wattage that would rate it as a quick charging Qi charger. This is going to be a normal slow charge. I'm already at 76% and it's still gonna take an hour until full, so. If you have a newer model phone, then you will notice that the charging is going to be kind of slow with this charger, but it's really, really cool. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh man, I'm glad I have one of these. <laughs> That's cool. Dude, what? <laughs> I swear, sometimes you can find like the coolest things internationally that are just not available in our market. But honestly, if like, if Great Eastern Entertainment or FYE or Just Funky or somebody wants to make one of these and sell it, quick charge, Qi charger. That would be so primo. I would totally buy it. But for the time being, a slower one that just looks really cool. <laughs> yeah pretty dope. It's so much fun to unbox this stuff and I'm just like, oh yeah, I bought this thing. I wonder if it works. Oh, it works. <laughs> These are some items that I got from Hong Kong and Taiwan. Really cute items. All right, let's take a look. So I have a few different items that came in a box a while back from one of the proxies that you can find on Instagram who does international orders for items that are available in Taiwan, Hong Kong, Japan, China, those areas. So these are all collaboration items from those regions. Uh, I have a couple of boxes of masks because I do still wear masks when I need to. I also have a teapot. I believe this is a glass teapot and a cooking timer. Let's check them out. This cooking timer came out quite some time ago. Apparently it is, it works perfectly for working, for using it in the kitchen. Oh look, there's a magnet on the back of it. So apparently you can stick it to your fridge. Cool. There's also a clock function and then the timer functionality. And interestingly, this is written in English. Read user manual, don't dispose in the, in the fire. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna dispose of it at all. Approximately one year for the battery life. Hopefully it works right now. It's uh, been in storage for a while. It is a licensed item. There we have the Toei sticker. Yeah, this has been in here for quite some time. So uh, hopefully it works. Oh, that's cute. I love the background on here. That's so adorable. I would honestly display it in the box because the box is so cute. She looks a little funny. She looks a little bit like she's going to murder you in your sleep. Oh, there's a pull tab, that's good. So batteries go in here. Oh, it's a, uh, what is that called? CR 20, 2032. That's pretty, pretty common with these type of products. It beeped, it works, yay. Here we have the cooking timer. Minute. Oh, is that to set the clock? I think it is. I'm gonna have to mess with this and figure out how to use it. Doesn't come with directions other than what's listed on the actual box. So I'll have to mess around with it. But I love that there's a magnet on the back of it and it sounds like it's pretty loud. So this will be fun to mess around with. <laughs> this is cute. Very, very cute. Love the little cooking timer. How adorable. It's in here. Get out of the way. All right. 
I found the user manual and it is in English so we can figure out how to use it. Okay, so I'm gonna read this, find out how to use this cooking timer. It was buried at the bottom of the box. But at least I know that there is a way to uh, figure it out. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> it's adorable. Oh, and it stands up on its own too. So you can set it down. You don't have to use the magnet on the back if you don't want to. I have a teapot. Let's open it. See, this is fun. This is where I get to have a lot of fun is unboxing all these fun, fun little items. What in the world is that? That looks like freeze dried Skittles. Is this candy? How long has that been in there? I don't know. It's packaged very well. Very happy to see it was packaged very well. That's good because shipping stuff internationally, sometimes it can break and then it's very sad. Very sad day. Okay, so here we have a teapot featuring Luna on the front of it. It's kind of hard to see since she is in gold foil. This teapot is unique, at least compared to the other ones I've gotten through collaboration items, because it does have a pour spout up here. It's a little bit bigger and it has a filter that comes with it. So you can put your tea up here, pour hot water over it, and let your tea steep. So this is a very useful item. Here's the glass topper for it to keep it nice and warm. Oh, I'm totally gonna use this. This is so cute. I love it. Love it, love it. That's adorable. Now this says, let's see. Oh yeah, it does come with candy. So that is candy that comes with it. And this is another licensed item. It does have the toy sticker on the back of the box. Candy to eat later. That's good because I'm hungry all the time. Always hungry. I wanna check out these masks. I'll run through these pretty quickly. Uh, they do have, there's like a piece of metal right in the center. And these do shape out to give you a little bit more breathing room. So they're pretty comfortable. Uh, this one has a gradient Sailor Moon print on the front of it with the moon stick over here and the logo. And then I also picked up this one, which has another gradient print with the cats and the Sailor Moon logo. I also got this one as a little bonus add-on. Uh, this is just a regular cheapo mask, but it's nice to have another one on hand in case you need to exchange during the day. I have some more stuff from the like Asian region, but I did want to grab some of the items that I got from other countries as well. So the first one I wanted to share with you is a little grab bag of goodies that my friends in Ireland sent me. This is so sweet. Uh, my friend from Ireland, I won't call them out by name on here, but they said, hope you like the extra things I found. I'm sure the staff is gonna start thinking that I'm crazy always buying any and all of their Sailor Moon stuff times three because they also purchase Sailor Moon goodies for themselves. And then they find these goodies for me and for uh, their daughter too. So I think it's so sweet. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for sending these over to me. I love them. So first I have this really cute shirt that they found. Uh, this is in a size medium. It fits me perfectly. So I love this shirt. It's super cute, very unique print. They also found this really lovely little pencil case. I love this pencil case. It's so cute. It has classic 1990s Sailor Moon on the front of it. Now this was made, oh, look at that. There's a transformation brooch. It's made out of this like rubber texture. Oh, that's cool. I like that. This was made by BioWorld. Now BioWorld has released some Sailor Moon items here in the US as well, but this was available at Primark, but I don't know the proper term. Uh, they also found this awesome notebook. This is also made by BioWorld. This one also features very similar print for Sailor Moon. We also have Mercury in here. Let's check out Mars. Where's Mars? There's Sailor Mars. Cool. Sailor Jupiter and Venus. Oh, this is so cool. Very cute notebook. I love collecting notebooks. Okay, this is really awesome. I'm so excited to show you this. A heat changing mug. Yeah, we don't have one of these in the US, but it's heat changing. Oh, so cool. Okay, so if things are cold, it's black. And if it's hot, it warms up and it changes to this gradient background. This was also made by, who made this? BioWorld, also available at Primark. So if you are watching this from Ireland or the UK, then you can totally find these where you live. So here is the front of the mug. 
very, very cute Usagi in her school uniform. And then we have the back that has a Sailor Moon logo on it. I'll have to use this with some hot liquid to show you the color change because I'm really excited to see it myself in person. I don't think I'm warm enough myself to heat it up. I'll have to use something that's actually hot. That is cool. So cool. Perfect. I can use my new tea mug. I'll make some hot tea and pour it in my heat changing color mug. Thank you so much to my friends in Ireland for sending those over. They're amazing and I appreciate you as always and can't wait to get a chance to go over there and visit. <laughs> okay, next I have a hoodie which is from the store in Australia called JJ's. Here's the hoodie. <laughs> it is very cute. Uh, I would say that the sleeves are a little bit short on me. I got a size small, so a medium probably would have fit a little bit better on me. I love the gradient print of this Sailor Moon on the front. I'll show you a close up. This is so pretty. It's really, really cute. I love the cream color of this hoodie. It's kind of unique. We don't have one that looks like that here in the US. We have Japanese Sera Moon listed down the sleeve. I believe we have the same thing on the second sleeve. Yep, it says Sera Moon. Sera Moon. This is not a zip up hoodie, but it does have a pocket on the front. I'll show you some video of me actually wearing it. And then this is the back, and I really like the back print. So we have Super Sailor Moon, and then we have Super Sailor Chibi Moon next to her. We have that gradient print going on in the stars and in the uh, listing down the side. Now this says Se Ra Chibi Moon, and then we have Sailor Moon down at the bottom. Very cool. It's a really, really cute print. Very lovely cream color, a nice warm hoodie. Here's the texture material on the inside. Uh, but again, the sleeves were a little short. So if I see a medium in stock, I might grab a medium instead. Let's look at some clothes. I do have some example footage of me wearing all of these clothing items. So I can show you what they look like on um, my fit, give you an idea of how these things fit, fit. And I will tell you the sizes as well. So all of these items came from a company called Pomelo. Uh, Pomelo does have an international website and they do ship internationally. But for this licensed collaboration, if you logged into their US website or the international one, you couldn't find the collaboration. It was only available in, I think it was Taiwan. So unless you lived over in Asia, there was like no way to get it. But luckily I found this online proxy website that orders items from the Pomelo website. So I was able to get everything that I wanted. And I actually used the same website to order a bunch of items from Corksicle because Corksicle did a collab in Taiwan as well. So I will show you, or maybe it was Thailand. So I will show you both of these collaborations in order. Let's start with the clothing items. The first item I have from Pomelo is this medium sized cropped sweater. If you're familiar with the Pomelo collaboration, you know that this came with, uh, there were some pink strings that were sewn down, that dropped down from the logo at the bottom where it says Sailor Moon. I cut those off because I did not like how it looked. And I think this looks a lot better without those pink strings dropping down from the sweater. I thought it looked kind of goofy with them. This is embroidered, but this is like painted on. This is actually a very, very nice sweater. I very much like it. I've worn it a couple of times now. It is kind of short on me because I do have, you know, a busty chest. So a lot of times crop tops look a little funky on my size because I'm I'm not as I'm not as slim as some folks will be. But this is a really really cute top anyway and it looks awesome with something high-waisted like high-waisted skirts or high-waisted shorts or pants. Pomelo also came out with some shorts that are very cute. I am actually currently, I'm wearing the denim shorts. These are the denim shorts that feature Luna all over them. And there's also these cream colored shorts that feature, I guess you could say this is Artemis on them. Uh, I ordered a couple of different sizes. Turns out the sizing that I ordered was way too big. So I went back and I placed orders for a size 30 and a size 28. Uh, I found that the size 30 and 28 fit a little bit better in the cream colored ones than the regular denim version. The denim version, I only fit into a size 30. With the cream colored ones, I felt like these are a little bit more forgiving, so I was able to wear a 28. So it kind of depends on the fabric that you use and the color, because these were not the exact same size. So the sizing is a little tough to get right when you're ordering internationally from Pomelo. That was the uh, 
that was a bit of a problem that I ran into. I like the logo on the back. You do have pockets everywhere. It is embroidered. The imagery is embroidered all over. Got that fringe detailing on the bottom. Really cute denim shorts. Definitely gonna wear these all the time in the summer. I have several other items from Pomelo. Uh, this is a very cute wrap top. Uh, this is made out of, I wanna say like polyester maybe? Yes, 100% polyester. Wow, that was pretty good. I don't always understand what fabric types are used. Uh, same thing goes with like kitchen items, but hey, that was a pretty good guess. <laughs> this one I got in a medium. This features Artemis printed all over it. And I have to say, this looks amazing. I love wearing this shirt. It looks so good. It is wrinkly right now, as you can see in my video but this is a very cute wrap top and I feel like it it's also kind of forgiving if you have like a larger chest, it's easier to wrap it around so that, you know, you don't you don't feel like you're gonna fall out of it. It looks good. I very much like this. I think it's a very cute top, would look great with like maybe some black slacks if you wanna wear this for business time, business casual. It's a very cute top. It's a blouse, basically. I also picked up this second blouse, which features a Sailor Moon's transformation brooch. And this one, I did not like as much. I got it in a medium, and I feel like it's made for people who have a much slimmer figure than I do. I'm very muscular. I have a very muscular build. So this did not necessarily look good on me. It fit down like around my waist and that's what I purchased it for, but it did not fit around the top. It was, it just sat really awkwardly on my, my frame my body type, so I'll probably be reselling this one. This jacket is super cute. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it or not because it is a cropped jacket, but it fits really well. I very much love the bows that are on the front pockets on both sides. It also has this really cute featured detail of a crescent moon on the buttons, and it's made really well. The pink thread looks awesome on here. I ended up getting a medium for this jacket, and I just love it. I think it looks super, super cute. Cute. So very happy with this jacket. Now I probably could have gone with a smaller size for this t-shirt. I got a size medium large for this t-shirt. So that was a little bit too big for me. I probably caught, could have got the extra small small. It's so rare that I find a tie-dye t-shirt that I actually like and this one is very cute. I like it because it has all the different colors in here as opposed to tie-dyeing with one generic color. Plus you get this really very cute, unique print of the inner Sailor Guardians on the front too. So it's a cute shirt, a little bit too big for me, but still gonna wear it. I snagged this other sweater. This is also in a size medium, definitely a crop top here. Uh, Would have loved if this was made into a longer shirt for longer torsos, but it's not, unfortunately. Uh, this one features Sailor Moon on the front. She is printed in pink. Then we have this pink stripe down at the bottom. It is a stretchy material. This looks really good. It actually like kind of accentuates my features really well. So I very much like this shirt a lot. Thought it was super, super cute. Lastly, for the Pomelo items that are clothing items, I got this dress. It's a denim dress that you can button all the way down. I actually wore this in Japan for my trip in December and I really, really, really liked it. I like the crescent moon buttons. I got a large. The large just gives me a little bit more room in my chest area uh, to make it feel a little bit more comfortable. It's almost giving me Sailor Pluto vibes. Like, you know how Sailor Pluto has her lab coat? This is very much giving me like lab coat vibes, but I like it. I like the bows. I think it's really cute. And I feel like this is another like super comfortable piece that you can wear over almost anything. It's just very adorable. I did order that one in a couple of different sizes. I think I have a medium available for sale. So you can check out my Sailor Snubs sales page if you wanna snag one of those yourself. Pomelo also had this really nice canvas bag available uh, for purchase. I decided to go ahead and grab one because I, I always use bags. I always use bags. I always need bags. So this is another bag and it's a big bag. It's a very large bag. I feel like I could travel with this. This would be great as a carry-on. 
has a pocket on the inside. It has the Sailor Moon logo embroidered on the back. There's another pocket on the back right there. And on the front, it says Sailor Moon and we get the 1990s version of Sailor Moon. Even though technically that's newer art, but it's based off of like Sailor Moon from the anime in the 1990s. So there you go. This thing has several pockets on the inside. Uh, I think you can see this with the lighting, but there is a pocket over here. There's another pocket there and one here. So you get three pretty deep pockets that go all the way down, almost to the bottom of this bag. So this is a really big bag. I could use this. This is a very usable bag. I like it. I have a sweater. I love this sweater. It is so comfortable. I love the all over print. It is cute. This came from a collaboration with Chocolat. Chocolate? Chocolat. They have an extra O in there. So I don't know how to properly say their brand name. What size did I get? 100% cotton. I got a size small. It fits perfectly. And this is just a beautiful sweater. And I wore this several times in the wintertime and I love it. It's warm, it's comfortable. It's got that like sublimation print and it just looks cool. Chocolate makes some really awesome collaboration items. So anytime they do a new collab, I always try to snag at least one item from their collabs. They're kind of pricey. So I limit how much I get from them. Okay, all I have left are like little goods here and there. So let's go ahead and break into these Corksicle goodies. Corksicle is an international brand. They sell stuff here in the United States. There is a website that you can order from here in the US, but this collaboration only came out overseas. Of course, of course it is because of licensing. So we unfortunately technically did not have access to this collab, but I did. <laughs> Anytime a company says like, you can't buy this in America, I'm just like, try me. <laughs> so I always try to find a way. It's like a game for me. Like you tell me I can't buy it and I'm just like, mm, you sure about that? You sure about that? Corksicle did do two collaborations so far with Sailor Moon. These are from the first collaboration that they released. These are some add-on goodies that you could receive if you ordered one of the Corksicle tumblers. This is a two-sided, just a simple canvas material reusable bag. We have Artemis and Luna on the sides of it. So that's really cute. Nothing to talk about on the inside of this. Very simple. This was another freebie. This was the other Sailor Moon tote bag that you could have gotten if you actually lived in Asia and you were able to get this through their stores. I was able to get one through my online proxy. The back has the Sailor Moon logo and the front has this great print of Sailor Moon. So cute. So here are the tumblers. I have a lot of corksicle tumblers and cups for the United States. Uh, they're great. They're really good products. This one is 16 ounces, nine hours cold, three hours hot, triple insulated, easy grip sides, stainless steel, BPA free, non-slip bottom, top rack dishwasher safe. So this tumbler is your regular 16 ounce size. It does come with a lid. Uh, this is not a spill proof or leak proof lid, so keep that in mind, but you can stick a straw in there if you wanted to. It's very nice, cute. But the one I was really excited about was this larger one. This is the 24 ounce, nine hours cold, three hours hot. Same thing here with all the details. Uh, this one kind of has a sparkly shine to it. It's a little harder harder to see, but if you're watching this in 4K, you should be able to see it. Uh, I really like the design. I think it's super, super cute. And I love that you have all sorts of different Sailor Moon items. 360 degrees all over this thing. It's a nice big tumbler. Can fit lots and lots of drink in here. And there's the inside of that one. So not too much to write home about on the interior, but I love the design on the outside. It's so cute. Very cute. I wish they had released this in the United States because I spent a good dollar to get this shipped here. Now, I believe everything in this section is from one of the Taiwan Hong Kong pop-up stores that was available as a collaboration. So all of these items were picked up for me through a proxy. I have several clear files that are from this pop-up shop. So this is one of my clear files. On the back, we have Luna and Artemis looking so cute. This one feels like a true file folder. I'm gonna open it. I'm curious about this one. It's a little thicker. Oh, it is, that's cool. So we have this uh, dual-sided image. There's tuxedo mask on one side and a very pastel Tokyo on the other side. So great for storage of little items, memorabilia and whatnot. 
We also have the inner Sailor Guardians on the back and Sailor Moon with Luna on the front. That's a cute clear file. This one is one of your traditional clear files with the inner Sailor Guardians plus Chibi Moon on the front. And it says Sailor Moon on the back. That's it. I love collecting bags and these are no exception. This one is very cute. I believe this is an insulated lunch bag. So on the front, we have this cute little silhouette of Luna's head. Then on the back, we have the three kitties. They're so cute. This color is very adorable. Oh, I wonder if this is leak proof. This feels like the kind of fabric that you would find in leak proof coolers. That is interesting. I'm gonna have to test this out and see if this is like a leak proof insulated uh, product or if this is just like a regular bag, but it's kind of like a rubberized texture on the inside, which makes me think that it's water resistant at least. I also snagged this really cute design on a bag. This is more like a little lunch bag, just a traditional lunch bag, but it does have that same interior lining. So I am curious if this is insulated or leak, maybe leak resistant. I'm not sure. Gonna have to test that out. I picked up this really pretty notepad from the pop-up shop that happened over there. This one has this elastic band around it. You have a little heart in the front. That's so cute. It looks like you can't replace this with like a photo of your own choosing. There's no opening to put your own picture in there. So it's just a cut out heart of the inner sailor guardians. And we have a bunch of almost plain paper in here. There's the inner guardian planetary symbols as well as silhouettes of each of them. Is there anything on the back? No. Pretty plain and simple. On the back we have silhouettes of the moon princesses and then it says Sailor Moon in English. This is very cute. This I purchased because I'm always always using these. It's a luggage strap. I do have one of these already from a previous pop-up shop that happened in Hong Kong maybe. Uh, this one, I just wanted to have a spare in case that one broke, but this one's very pretty. It's got a nice gradient belt. We have Sailor Moon's costume right here. It is a simple buckle. There's no lock on it. My other one does have a lock and then it says Sailor Moon. It can be adjusted based on your suitcase size. That's really nice. Oh, and that's useful. There's a little name tag on the back just in case. These are extremely useful. I love being able to use them for my luggage and my other one has not broken yet. It's lasted me through several international trips so I'm under the belief it will continue to last me through many trips but just in case. To go along with that I also picked up this new mirror. Uh, this one does have Swarovski crystals on the front. That's pretty cool. Check out those crystals. That's neat. There's a little crescent moon on this little chain. On the back it says Sailor Moon Crystal and this is just a simple fold-out mirror so I can set it up like that. Hello. Hello there's my chin. <laughs> This is cool. It's very nice. I like this. I also managed to get a couple of very cute Sailor Moon mugs from the Crystal franchise. So here we have all of the outer Sailor Guardians looking so cool. And this one is of the inner Sailor Guardians, also from Crystal. Cute. This is a really pretty canvas print. I simply wanted to use this as a piece to display in my Sailor Moon collection room. I thought it would match very well with my aesthetic. I love the gradient print of the crescent moon in the background. And this is also based on 1990s anime, Super Sailor Moon and Super Sailor Chibi Moon. So not crystal, but yeah, it's a canvas print. Very pretty. Last thing on my table I have is right here in this box. Oh wow, so pretty. I totally forgot about these. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Look at that mug. Oh, it almost looks like a tail. That is precious. Oh. That is so precious. I love it. That's really adorable. So as you can see, these are Luna and Artemis mugs. Very, very cute. Really like the big handle, very easy to grip. Kind of a small mug, but ugh, just adorable. I would love to use these all the time. I'm sure they're hand wash only though. And the last thing from this box is a big mat. It's a big floor mat of the kitties. I thought they were adorable and I love the gradient background. Those are my favorite colors, so I had to get it. I figured I could put it in here somewhere. I don't know where, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> All right, I'm on my last box of items from international retailers. 
And this one has a whole bunch of very random items stored in this box. The seller that I got these through is great and they always send a whole bunch of masks in the box, which I do use. So I really appreciate having these. I also picked this up. This is also from a previous chocolate collab, but I had never actually picked it up until now because I never saw it for a good price, but I just found it for a good price. So I really wanted to grab this velvety very pretty purse it says eternal sailor moon on the front there's luna when you open it you'll notice that there's not a lot of room on the interior of here so maybe not as usable but a very very pretty purse very unique very different not the kind of design that you would see all the time it does come with this chain uh strap so you can put that around your shoulders however i don't like metal straps going around my shoulders uh, because they tend to snag on my hair i would probably replace this with something that's not metal not a metal chain uh, luckily i can replace it because i can remove these so that's good but this is super cute i wanted to add it to my collection even though it's a little bit older i think this item is for your car it's like a car vent scent i think <laughs> let's find out i don't remember Oh goodness. Okay, it is a car vent scent. So you stick this on your vent. That's the part that you would see displayed towards you. This is magnetically attached and there are ventilation holes on both sides. And there's also ventilation holes on the back so that when your fan blows, it blows out the scent. It comes with two scent packages. These are in sealed envelopes. One is called Black Opium. That's interesting. The other one is Blackberry and Laurel. Ooh, I bet that smells good. I don't want to open these right now, but I definitely will. And I'll test them out in my car and let you know what I think. So this is a pair of bookmarks. I believe they are bookmarks at least. Uh, here we have one of Sailor Moon. I'm going to leave it attached because I want to display it, but it's a very, very thin metal. And we have this gorgeous art of Sailor Moon on the front. It's very, very shiny and really pretty. This is a very, very pretty piece. The other one that we have here, this one has a silver crystal down at the bottom. Very pretty. And we have Neo Queen Serenity up at the top. And it does say Neo Queen Serenity around the edges. Very cool. And again, very, very shiny. Really pretty display piece, definitely. Everything else up here is very much for like the summertime. <laughs> It's really cute. This is a picnic blanket, also called a picnic mat. This comes with four different stakes, so you can stake this into the ground so it won't blow away. It comes with its own little pouch to store it. And this is made out of not a super soft fabric, but a fabric that would be very, very easy to rinse off or wash off if you get anything on it. So excellent to use in the grass. Oh, this thing is really big, so I'm not gonna unfold the whole thing. Here you can get a sense of how big it is. It's huge. I guess I'm not unfolding it. Ta-da! This is so cute. I feel like I should put that with all of my other like picnic stuff, which isn't much and I don't go picnicking very often, but it's really cute. These are ridiculous, but I love them. Here I have an inflatable pillow. I don't have a pool, but if I did, I would use my inflatable pillow. It smells really bad. It smells terrible, but this is an inflatable pillow. That's where you blow it up on the back of it. And it's it looks really nice. It looks very nice and detailed. It feels like it's got like weird oily thing going on with it. I'm gonna have to wash my hands after opening this. Look, it's kind of gross. I got a beach ball. Maybe I'll take this with me to the beach this summer. This is cute. <gasps> this is so cute. Okay, so here's the beach ball. It has all of the inner guardians. There's Sailor Moon, Mercury, and Jupiter. Oh, that's cute. Oh, this is adorable. I love this beach ball. Okay, this one does not have that weird oily thing going on like that pillow does. My second beach ball. So this one has, let's see, King Endymion, Artemis there, Neo Queen Serenity, and then Sailor Moon and Chibi Moon, Princess Small Lady Serenity, and we have Neo Queen Serenity here. So this one is for the whole family. Very cute. And lastly, I got this swimming ring uh, because yeah, I have a pool, not really. And uh, Totally need this. Not really. I have no use for this. I have no use for this thing, but it's really cool. <laughs> this is cute. How many guardians are on here? Let's see. It's all the inner sailor guardians again. We also have Chibi Yusa and she has Luna P in her hand too. Check that out. That's so cute. This one's made out of a really nice fabric too. Very, very nice. So again, not oily like the pillow that I picked up earlier. <laughs> 
which was kind of gross. And this one also just smells like regular pool toys. So it doesn't have that weird, strange smell to it either. There's your blow up right there. This is so cute. Seriously, why don't we have these things available in the USA? I would totally buy like all the things. Like if I walk into Target and they have, you know, pool rings and cute little balls, like beach balls to play with, I would buy all that stuff. But of course they don't have it available here. I wish they did. Who's holding us up? Is it Toei? Toei, come on. Let us have some more licensed stuff over here with different pictures on them. <laughs> we keep on seeing the same imagery on like all of the collaboration items in the US. So that is everything from my international haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions down below. I will put links down below if I can find any of these, but chances are I will not be able to uh, because a lot of these were only available overseas and I purchased them through friends or they just aren't available anymore. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Sailor Snubs. Janae.